So if you think about so many experiences happens to so many people, not everybody holds on those experiences equally. Some get affected very badly, and some, ba some people don't get affected at all. So it's not so much about what happens, it's more about how you, what it means what to happen to you or how you relate to it. And then it comes back to the same place. When something happens to you, you label it, you identify it. <coughs> you're, making it you're making it, basically. It's not, nothing inherently like that. Culturally, collectively, sometimes you can make one thing such a big story, and very big story means nothing. Every culture, if you look at it like that, from every culture, if you look from another culture, you will see a lot of things. They say, my God, how, how big story they make out of this thing. But it is a big thing for them. And another day, they, they, they would do something horrible, and they say, it's very normal. It's a freedom, or something like that. So there's nothing inherently there something there, but we make things. So that means we have a possibility of making, making something or not making something. So idea of these practices is really not to make, not try not to leave traces. Live fully, but no traces. You might be able to live more fully in the moment, if you're not grasping so much, if you're not grasping so much, where, whichever way you're living fully, they don't affect you. You have deep sadness, the moment it's over, it's over. You felt a lot of anger, comes out, moment it's over, it's over. Or one anger comes out, stays the rest of the life with you. One sadness arises, says rest of the life with you. Yeah, so, yeah, I think so main, mainly what I'm trying to say, I think a little bit more interesting here is that everything in our life, what, what we feel that what makes you feel lively, alive, existing, what about if you <coughs> gradually let them go and see, then what do you feel, you know? It's hard to imagine, but it's going to happen. Right? One day, you will not have your body. Right? Forget about all what you have, possess, material things. Forget about all your friends and other people. We are talking about your own body. You won't have it. And how does that all feel like? Hard to imagine. You know, if it's very painful, you might feel very libera liberated. Hard to imagine, but that thing you have some sense of. Yeah. Okay. So hard to imagine. So let's not try to imagine that. But there are a lot of other things in life that you identify so strongly in right now that almost you, you exist, you just, you, every day your sense of I is living, living more lively through those things. And they will go. They will go sooner than they, your body.
right? And so somehow experiencing experiencing who you are in the absence of that. 